Bayugan, officially the city of Bayugan, Cebuano, Dakbayan Sa Bayugan, Tagalog, Lungsod ng Bayugan, or simply known as Bayugan City, is a fifth-class city in the province of Agusan del Sur, Philippines with postal code 8502. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 103,202 people. Gained cityhood through Republic Act No. 9405, it is only city in the province of Agusan del Sur. Bayugan serves as the growth center of the province, located at the northern part of Agusan del Sur. Bayugan is the cut flower capital of the province owing to its lucrative cut flower industry. The city's climate, especially in the highland barangays, is conducive to high yield cut flower production. The city is also one of the major producers of rice and vegetables in the province, even providing the needs of neighboring municipalities and provinces. Etymology the natives called the area Bayugan since the word Bayugan is a Manobo term for pathway. Another version states that Bayug trees used to grow abundantly in the area. It was also believed that the natives used to make this place their meeting spot and that the means of gathering the inhabitants was by knocking on a hollow piece of wood which they termed as the Bayug. History Bayugan City was formerly a sitio of Barangay Megadasan, Esperanza. Several versions abound on how the sitio got its name. First, the place was located along the river which served as the pathway of the natives in going to Esperanza. In 1942, Japanese troops entered Bayugan City during the Second World War. In 1945, the town of Bayugan in southern Agusan was liberated by Filipino soldiers and guerrillas from the Japanese forces occupying the town. In 1948, the Department of Public Works and Highways conducted a survey for a national highway that would connect Butuan with Davao City. Simultaneously, the Bureau of Lands surveyed the places that would be traversed by the proposed road. Possible town sites were identified and among them was Barangay Megadasan. However, part of the national highway, now the Nara Avenue, passed through the sitio of Bayugan instead of Barangay Megadasan. Migrants started settling in the sitio of Bayugan, thus, prompting the transfer of the proposed town site. In the early part of 1960, the inhabitants led by Mr. José Joson passed a resolution creating the sitio of Bayugan into a regular barrio. In April of that year, Barangay Bayugan was inaugurated with Joson as the Teniente del Barrio. Brought about by the construction of the national highway which traversed the place, business activity sprouted rapidly in the area. A year later, Barangay officials led by then Sergio Molineta worked out the creation of Bayugan into a regular municipality through the assistance of Governor Democrito O. Plaza, Governor of Agusan. By virtue of Executive Order No. 440 of then President Carlos P. Garcia, the petition to create the municipality of Bayugan was granted on August 6, 1961. Mr. Molineta, the first appointed municipal mayor of Bayugan assumed into office on August 6, 1962 during the term of President Diosdado Macapagal. In the year 2007 Bayugan was converted to a city. Bayugan is a transportation highway nexus for the eastern part of Mindanao Island. Bayugan is now one if not the fastest growing component city in northeastern Mindanao. Cityhood during the 11th Congress 1998 to 2001, Congress enacted into law 33 bills converting 33 municipalities into cities. However, Congress did not act on a further 24 bills converting 24 other municipalities into cities. During the 12th Congress 2001 to 2004, Congress enacted into law Republic Act No. 9009, RA 9009, which took effect on 30 June 2001. RA 9009 amended Section 450 of the Local Government Code by increasing the annual income requirement for conversion of a municipality into a city from 20 million pesos to 100 million pesos. The rationale for the amendment was to restrain, in the words of Senator Aquilino Pimentel, the mad rush of municipalities to convert into cities solely to secure a larger share in the internal revenue allotment despite the fact that they are incapable of fiscal independence. 
After RA 9009 went into effect, the House of Representatives of the 12th Congress adopted Joint Resolution No. 29, which sought to exempt from the 100 million pesos income requirement in RA 9009 the 24 municipalities whose cityhood bills were not approved in the 11th Congress. However, the 12th Congress ended without the Senate having approved Joint Resolution No. 29. During the 13th Congress 2004 to 2007, the House of Representatives re-adopted former Joint Resolution No. 29 as Joint Resolution No. 1 and forwarded it to the Senate for approval. However, the Senate again failed to approve the Joint Resolution. Following the suggestion of Senator Aquilino Pimentel, Senate President, 16 municipalities filed, through their respective sponsors, individual cityhood bills. The 16 cityhood bills each contained a common provision exempting it from the 100 million pesos income requirement of RA 9009. Exemption from Republic Act No. 9009 the city of XXX shall be exempted from the income requirement prescribed under Republic Act No. 9009. On the 22nd of December 2006, the House of Representatives approved the cityhood bills. The Senate also approved the cityhood bills in February 2007, except that of Naga, Cebu which was passed on 7 June 2007. These cityhood bills lapsed into law on various dates from March to July 2007 after President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo failed to sign them. The point of law at issue in 2007 was whether there had been a breach of Section 10, Article 10 of the 1987 Constitution, which provides, no province, city, municipality, or barangay shall be created, divided, merged, abolished or its boundary substantially altered, except in accordance with the criteria established in the local government code and subject to approval by a majority of the votes cast in a plebiscite in the political units directly affected and in each case the established criteria were far from met. In November 2008, Bayugan and 15 other cities lost their cityhood after the Supreme Court of the Philippines granted a petition filed by the League of Cities of the Philippines, and declared unconstitutional the cityhood law RA 9405, which had allowed the town to acquire its city status. The Supreme Court ruled that they did not pass the requirements for cityhood. On 10 December 2008, the 16 cities affected acting together filed a motion for reconsideration with the Supreme Court. More than a year later, on the 22nd of December 2009, acting on said appeal, the court reversed its earlier ruling as it ruled that, at the end of the day, the passage of the amendatory law regarding the criteria for cityhood is set by Congress is no different from the enactment of a law i.e., the cityhood laws specifically exempting a particular political subdivision from the criteria earlier mentioned. Congress, in enacting the exempting law s, effectively decreased the already codified indicators. Accordingly cityhood status was restored. But on 27 August 2010, the 16 cities lost their city status again, after the Supreme Court voted 7-6, with two justices not taking part, to reinstate the 2008 decision declaring as unconstitutional the Republic Acts that converted the 16 municipalities into cities. A previous law required towns aspiring to become cities to earn at least 100 million pesos annually, which none of the 16 did. On 15 February 2011, the Supreme Court made another volt face and upheld for the third time the cityhood of 16 towns in the Philippines. Finally, on 12 April 2011, the Supreme Court, in an end bank ruling delivered in Baguio City, affirmed the finality of the constitutionality of the 16 cityhood laws by resolving that, we should not ever lose sight of the fact that the 16 cities covered by the cityhood laws not only had conversion bills pending during the 11th Congress, but have also complied with the requirements of the LGC prescribed prior to its amendment by R.A. No. 9009. Congress undeniably gave these cities all the considerations that justice and fair play demanded. Hence, this court should do no less by stamping its imprimatur to the clear and unmistakable legislative intent and by duly recognizing the certain collective wisdom of Congress. Wherefore, the ad cautelum motion for reconsideration of the decision dated 15 February 2011 is denied with finality. 
On 28 June 2011 the Supreme Court directed the Clerk of Court to issue the entry of judgment on the cityhood case of 16 municipalities. On July 24, 2006, Congress approved RA 9405, an act converting the municipality of Bayugan into a component city to be known as the City of Bayugan. But in 2008, the Supreme Court of the Philippines declared the law unconstitutional. The court ruled that Bayugan, along with the other 15 cities covered by the law did not meet the requirements for cityhood. More than a year later, on December 22, 2009, acting favorably on the appeal of the 16 affected cities, the Supreme Court reversed its earlier ruling. It deemed that the passage of the amendatory law regarding the criteria for cityhood as set by Congress specifically exempting a particular political subdivision therefrom was constitutional. The court further ruled that Congress, in enacting the exempting law, effectively decreased the already codified indicators. As such, the cityhood status of Bayugan, and the rest of the 15 local government units was restored. But again on August 24, 2010, in a 16-page resolution, the Supreme Court reinstated its November 18, 2008 decision striking down the constitutionality of Republic Act 9405. Voting 7 to 6, with two justices abstaining, the SC reinstated its decision declaring RA 9405 as unconstitutional. However, in another twist of fate for Bayugan, the Supreme Court once again upheld for the third time and final time the constitutionality of RA 9405 on February 17, 2011, thereby finalizing the cityhood of Bayugan and the other 15 LGUs affected by the law. On July 3, 2011, the Supreme Court ordered its Clerk of Court to issue an entry of judgment on the cityhood case, sealing with finality the constitutionality of the law. Geography Bayugan is bordered by the municipality of Sibagat and the province of Surigao del Sur to the north, the municipality of Prosperidad to the east, the municipality of Esperanza to the south, and the municipality of Las Nieves, Agusan del Norte, to the west. Climate the city is geographically situated below the Typhoon Belt but is usually affected by depressions forming in the Typhoon regions of Visayas and the province of Surigao del Norte. The climate map of the Philippines based on the modified Coronas classification shows that the city falls under Type 2, which also is the weather classification of the province of Agusan del Sur. Type 2 climate has no dry season with very pronounced wet season of heavy precipitation. Maximum rainfall generally occurs from December to January although there is no single dry month. Its average monthly rainfall is 161.6 mm and average temperature is 32 degrees Celsius 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Areas characterized by this climate type are generally along or very near the eastern coast thus are open to the northeast monsoon. Barangays Bayugan is politically subdivided into 43 barangays, of which 3 are urban and 40 are rural. Demographics Indigenous people Manobo Higonan Banwayan Cameo, Mandaya Talandig Economy Products Fertile soil suitable for agricultural, protection forest about 26,107.163 hectares equals 51.697% in land classifications. Gold, silver, sand and gravel. Local government City officials Elected city officials 2016 to 2019 Executive Mayor, Kim Lope ASI's Vice Mayor, Charles P. Angang Legislative City Councilors Kim A. ASI's Rizalina B. Parba Gilbert M. Huncalada Charles C. Salazar 
Escarlet P. Estuya Pedro M. Alant Ferdinand H. Ibarol Primitivo N. Alampuz Jonathan D. Sayan Orlando A. Sevilla Sr. Barangay Council Association of Barangay Councils Liga ng MGA Barangay President Eliane G. Estrera, Brigi. Gethsemane Vice President, Vacant Position Tourist Attractions and Places of Interest Bayugan Rotunda Panagalan, Big Hamagaway, Falls Nara Avenue Wawa Bridge Meteor Garden Gethsemane Falls Santa Irene Overview Andanan, Wawa River and Irrigation System Family Place Resort Green Haven Adventure Farm Mangrove Base Park Arc Bayugan Graceland Cold Spring Magkiyanking Cave New Loon Cave San Agustin Lake Pudding Bato Cave Katipunan Lake Bising, Sisayman Cave Rizal Park, Plaza Bayugan City Hall Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish Church San Lorenzo Ruiz Diocesan Shrine Local festivals, and events Kahamunan II Bayugan Festival, Holy Child, a local version of the Sinalag Festival of Cebu, it is highlighted by street dancing focusing on the indigenous tribes of Bayugan and their way of life. Celebrated every last Sunday of January. Sacred Heart of Jesus Festival, popularly known as the Town Fiesta or Pista. Celebrated every 30th of June. Rice Corn and Flower Festival, a newborn festival replacing the traditional Ara ng Bayugan, and is a celebration of the abundant harvest of crops of farmers in the city. The name of the festival is coined from the nickname of the city, City of Rice, Corn, and Flowers. It highlights street dancing and float contests. Charter Day celebration held every 21st of June to commemorate the cityhood of Bayugan. Transportation Major transportation around the vicinity of the city are motorail, tricycle and some multicabs which travel to remote barangays. Havel Havel is also used as a transport to the mountain barangays of Bayugan. Accessibility By Air Butuan Airport, Butuan has the nearest airport from Bayugan. Davao Airport, from Manila or Cebu to Davao City as transit point. Surigao Airport, from Manila or Cebu to Surigao City as transit point. By land Bayugan can be reached via land transport. Bachelor Express, Land Car Inc., and Surigao Express are only few bus companies traveling to and from the city. Buses are serving routes from Davao City, Butuan City, Surigao City, and Mangagoy, Bislig City. Filtranco and PP bus lines serving Pasay City, Cubao via Butuan or Davao are also available. By sea inter-island vessels Cocoliang shipping lines, Tugo and Transasia shipping lines ply the Cebu-Nasipit routes on regular schedules with Nasipit port as transit point. Multi-cabs and buses are available at the wharf going to Butuan City Integrated Terminal for the regular bus trips to Bayugan. Education Bayugan National Comprehensive High School, or BNCHS, is a comprehensive high school with a population of about 6,000 students, and is located on a site that has an area of 5 hectares. The school is currently recognized for its research program in science-related topics. Comprehensive 
It is because it offers different curricula such as ESEP, Engineering and Science Education Program, Special Program in Journalism, Pilot School for Journalism in Caraga Region, Special Program in the Arts with the Specialization of Visual Arts, Creative Writing, Dancing, Music, Media Arts and Theater Arts, Technical Vocational Courses, Special Program in Sports and Revised Basic Education Curriculum. Agusan del Sur College or ADSCO established in 1966, is the only private educational institution in the city offering preparatory, elementary, high school, college, CHED degree courses i.e. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration BSBA, major in, Marketing Management, Financial Management, Operation Management, Bachelor of Secondary Education, Bachelor of Elementary Education, Bachelor of Arts major in English, Associate in Computer Secretarial, Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management by year 2011, and TESDA programs like Health Care Services NC2, Computer Hardware Servicing NC2, Shielded Metal Arc Welding, SMAW, NC2. C2, Driving NC2, Security Services NC2, Massage Therapy NC2, Housekeeping, Commercial Cooking NC2, Bookkeeping NC2. Father Sauter Nino Urios College of Bayugan Inc., formerly Father Urios Technical Institute of Bayugan Inc. or FUTIBI, is the oldest private educational institution in the city. Located at the heart of the city making it one of the most populous school in Bayugan, created in the year 1959, Urios caters elementary and secondary basic education. By school year 2010-2011, Urios will be putting up its technical courses. The school was founded by a Jesuit priest Father Atanasio B. de Castro in 1959. The school is currently headed by Dr. Palladia Joven, principal, and Fr. Roberto Butawan, school director. Sister cities Butuan, Philippines Davao City, Philippines Makati, Philippines Cebu City, Philippines Gallery References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code A History of Bayugan at the Agusan Surigao Historical Archive http colon slash slash www.sunstar.com.ph slash manila slash local dash news slash 2011 slash 07 slash 03 slash sc dash 16 dash cityhood dash laws dash constitutional dash final dash 164696 Municipality of Bayugan official website https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two oh one two oh three two seven one six two three three two slash http colon slash slash w dot puebla philippines dot com slash philippine dash cities dash financial dash profile dash two oh oh dash income dash and dash expenses http colon slash slash www.newsbayugan.com